Hi everyone, in this video we will cover how to launch AWS EC2 Ubuntu instance and connect to its GUI. So for that first we will create one machine. So for that click on services, compute, EC2, instances, launch instance, Ubuntu GUI will select Ubuntu so I will also mention the steps for the Amazon Linux or the Red Hat Linux so same steps will be available for there but there will be some changes in the commands only so for Red Hat the commands will be different from the Ubuntu so now we will proceed with the next steps so we will select image which is free tier eligible so we have selected Ubuntu server 22.04 now instance type which is also free tier eligible t2 micro will create a new key pair here ubuntu gui key dot ppk and create a key pair this is downloaded allow http and allow https advanced details shutdown behavior as stop termination protection enable and launch instance so as you know it takes a couple of minutes to be in a running state and to show us status check as 2 by 2 so we'll wait for a couple of minutes now so now after 2 3 minutes you can check the this is running and this is also 2 by 2 checks pass now select this and click on connect and you can check your username is Ubuntu here. Now we'll go back to instances. We'll copy our public IPv4 address and we'll click on putty. So once we open the putty, copy this and paste it here in hostname, saved session, go to SSH here, expand this, click on auth and browse for your Ubuntu GUI key which is your private key dot ppk key so we will select this and now we will go to tunnel so this is also one of the important state so here you have to enter source port as 8888 destination as copy this private IPv4 address here and paste it here and port number is 3389 so paste your private ipv4 address colon 3389 once this is done now we will click on open button here accept this expand this our username is ubuntu and now we can see we are successfully connected now we have to execute few commands here so these are the different commands that we need to execute so we'll copy this one by one and execute click y whenever it uh, ask for a yes or no we will have to select yes here click on ok so press enter enter so we are done with the first command now we will copy this second command and execute copy this and paste it here enter second is also done copy third command paste it here enter 
this is also done copy fourth command here you have to set the password of your ubuntu user so for now i will select the password retype your password and it shows password updated successfully then the next step is copy this and we have to install tight vnc server to access the gui of our ubuntu machine open putty paste this command press enter yes so it will take couple of minutes for the execution of this command enter enter so our vnc server setup is done now we will copy this command and paste it here enter this is also done now we have to execute this command so as in youtube description we are not allowed to use the greater than symbol so I have used the dollar symbol here, but you have to execute in this way only. So we have to use greater than symbol here. Copy this, paste it here, enter. This is also done. Now, next step is this command. This is also done and this second last command is this copy this one paste it here enter and now we have to execute the last command for restarting xrdp so now all the commands execution is we have to go to our console select this then go to security tab and here we have to add one rule here so you can see the port number 8443 and 22 is accessible we have to add one more rule here so for that we'll go to the security rules so go to the network and security security groups and here create security group or we can go to our instance we will first check uh, which security groups we are using so these are the security group id and we can check launch wizard 2 so for that we'll again go to security groups select this one and here we have to add one rule so here click on this edit button and click on your add rule select rdp port 3389 and select anywhere here and save this rules so you can see the success message here now we will again go back to our rdp here so once we are done with the execution of all commands we will open remote desktop connection here we'll copy our public ip address so this is our public IP address, copy this, paste it here, connect, click on yes, here you have to give your Ubuntu as a your username and the password which you have mentioned while performing the passwd Ubuntu command and click on ok. And now you can see we are able to successfully connect to this Ubuntu GUI. Here you can again mention the same password. So this is very useful for the users uh, who are not 
very much skilled or don't know the basic commands of Linux. So it will be very useful for them as they will be able to access the Ubuntu GUI.